Hey guys, I take every week. In this video, I'm coming to you with another uh, iOS 6 jailbreak update. Uh, so uh, iOS 6.1 was just released uh, earlier today, uh, this afternoon actually. Uh, and it comes with a couple updates, nothing too big. The first thing was LTE carrier support, um, so there's more LTE for different carriers. It looks like you can purchase uh, movies uh, using Fandango uh, by um, using Siri now. Um, in iTunes Match, you can uh, download like one song at a time now if you'd like to. Uh, so those are basically all the updates, nothing too big there. Uh, but this next post I'll give you guys, uh, I'm going to give you all these posts that I talk about in here. Uh, all these links will be in the description so you can you can access them and read them, read through them if you'd like to. Uh, this next post here, uh, it just has the direct links for all the downloads. Uh, so you can download the uh, the software for each one of your devices here. Uh, if you plan on updating it 6.1, uh, do not do over the air. Um, over the air, there's one reason, there's two reasons for it. Uh, the first one is uh, that it gives you different SHSH blobs uh, for over there updates. Uh, and then the second reason is something with um, testing the jailbreak with over there updates. Apparently, like it's not guaranteed to work or something like that. Uh, and it takes longer for the developers of the jailbreak uh, to test it with over the air. Um, so basically, what you want to do is just go to iTunes, plug in the device you plan on updating, and you're going to go to uh, check for update. And it's going to say there's a new update, and you can, I'm just going to download it right now. Um, but then you're going to restore your iPhone here to 6.1. Uh, I think you can probably just update to 6.1. I'm not really sure on what they want you to do. Uh, I think Muscle Nerd said to restore it to 6.1. Um, I'm probably just going to update to 6.1. But make sure you use iTunes no matter what if you're doing that. Odds are it will work probably either way. I'm going to guess. But just be to be safe, I would update using iTunes. Uh, the third post here, uh, Muscle Nerd just confirms the devices that work with the 6.1 jailbreak. Uh, so yeah, of course... Um, 6.1 is safe and it works for almost pretty much every device that can update to 6.1. Um, the Apple TV 3 is one exceptional and you cannot jailbreak the Apple TV 3 on 6.1. Um, but here are all the devices if we look down here. It uh, looks like they just list them on Twitter but they got them all summed up right here uh, very nicely. So they got the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4, the 4S, the iPhone 5, the iPod Touch 4th and 5th generation, the iPad 2, uh, the new iPad which is the 3rd generation, uh, the iPad with Retina Display, with is, which is uh, the 4th generation, I don't know why they said Retina Display, because the 3rd generation is Retina as well. Uh, but then we also have the iPad Mini. Uh, so all those, and I think the Apple TV, uh, the 2nd generation, works uh, for whatever newest software is. Uh, I'm not sure on that one. Uh, it's not listed here, but I think Muscle Nerd said something about that as well. So those are all the devices it's going to work with. And there actually is a current Tether jailbreak out for pre-A5 devices. Uh, if you want to check that out, I'll put this link in the description as well, um, like I previously said. And you can go ahead and look through this written tutorial and jailbreak your device tethered. But at this point, this is pretty much pointless. You'd be better off just waiting for them to release uh, the 6.1 jailbreak program, whatever it's going to be. Um, and then jailbreaking untethered on 6.1, the newest software, rather than doing this tethered uh, garbage and uh, messing with that because it's not as stable as an untethered jailbreak is going to be. Uh, as for the release date, they did not give one. They did not confirm one. Uh, some people were saying, oh, it's confirmed to be Sunday because Musler tweeted out something. Uh, he said, hey, did everyone know the Super Bowl is this Sunday? What will you be doing? And he put in reference to the Vaders, which is the jailbreak team um, that is developing this jailbreak for 6.1. Um, and he's acting like they're going to release it on Sunday, but he's not. he did not confirm this. Uh, so if you even look in this post series, it's pretty much confirming he did not confirm it. Uh, so most likely it is going to be released um, this Sunday uh, during the Super Bowl or someday on the Super Bowl day, whatever. So that's most likely when it's going to be released, but he did not confirm this. No one confirmed this, uh, and it's just something they, they're kind of tempting us with. But either way, we're going to see it within a week for sure, uh, most likely Sunday. Um, one of the last things I want to talk about here is saving your SHSH blobs. Uh, it's very easy to do, and it's something you're going to want to do. Um, just because of like future jailbreaks and updates and stuff. Right when the developers release this jailbreak, Apple's probably going to go ahead and push an update. And it's probably going to be like 6.1.1 uh, or something like that. Um, and that's going to patch the jailbreak. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure you have your SHSH blob saved for 6.1. That way you can always, uh, not, not positively always downgrade, but you'll have a better chance of being able to downgrade to 6.1 in case you accidentally update to one of Apple's uh, newer uh, software updates. Uh, most of the devices, I'm pretty sure all of them, as long as you have the SHSH blob saved uh, for the software version, uh, I think you can downgrade. I'm not positive on that, but I'm pretty sure uh, on most of the devices, definitely the pre-A5 devices, you can for sure. Um, and then I think even on A5 devices, I'm not positive on that yet or not. But either way, you want to make sure you save the uh, the SHSH blobs for every software version that's released. And you can simply do that by downloading this program called Tiny Umbrella here. Uh, you select your device when it's plugged into your computer. Uh, go to advanced here, make sure uh, that only these boxes are checked. And then go ahead and hit save SHSH, and uh, it's going to save all the blobs that are 
um, available. Um, you also want to go ahead and after you do that, go ahead and check request SHSH from Cydia. Go ahead and save it again because then it'll pull down and uh, save any blobs that are on the remote server and it's going to save them locally on your computer uh, just in case. So you want to make sure you do both of those. Um, you can also use Redstone here to do that, um, but Tiny Umbrella seems to be a lot easier. Um, you go to the extras and the SHSH blobs, you hit new, you select the IPSW file, uh, so you'll need to download that and then it'll save it, um, but Tiny Bro is a lot simpler. So I'll go ahead and throw uh, both of those links in the description as well. I know I'm talking pretty fast throughout this video, uh, I just don't want the video to end up being too long, so uh, if you miss anything just go ahead and rewind of course. That's basically it, there's a few more details here on Twitter um, that they've been tweeting out. Uh, let's see what the first one is, there's a Super Bowl reference. Um, here's him saying 6.1 is safe. Planet Bean is just saying it appears to be safe as well now. Already saying that it's vulnerable. Um, and then he said in terms of code, we have two proof of concepts that we need to merge and polish. So we will not be ready to release until that and testing. Uh, so basically that's just saying that he needs to finalize everything. Um, but it is safe to upgrade to 6.1 like I already said previously. Now another developer on the uh, Evaders jailbreak team, uh, he's just saying that you want to use iTunes, not over the air, like I already mentioned. Uh, and here's Muscle Leonard saying that the Apple TV 2 will be able to be jailbroken. Uh, it has been updated to 6.1, but he said not the Apple TV 3. Uh, here's just a list of the compatible devices, I'm not going to go over that. Uh, here's the explanation of why not to use uh, over the air by Muscle Nerd. Um, so let's go ahead and check that out, and I already explained that, um, I read through this already. Uh, but I'll go ahead and throw this link in the description too if you want to read that, but you can just go ahead and pause the video and read it right now if you'd like to. And then uh, I Hate Snow just said something about Apple getting quick at closing the SHSH signing windows. Uh, so basically, right when Apple releases new software versions, you're going to want to open up Tiny Umbrella and go in here and save your SHSH blobs, like I said. Uh, that way you can always have a way to downgrade. All right. For the most part, you'll be able to downgrade. Uh, not necessarily always, though. Uh, but that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this update video. Um, I know I just released one yesterday, so you want to check out that one as well. You can go ahead and do that. But I basically summed up everything I said in that video in this one, too. Um, but if you'd like to check it out, uh, go ahead and click the annotation. You can uh, view that. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I know I threw a ton of information in there and talked pretty fast, but I hope you got it all. Uh, and understand uh, everything that you should do. I go ahead and update your devices right now to 6.1 just so you're ready uh, for the jailbreak when they release it. You can jailbreak right away then. Um, like I said in my other videos, I will have the jailbreak tutorial up for 6.1 when they release this program that's going to jailbreak it. Um, and I'll show you guys how to do it in that tutorial uh, if you're not really sure on jailbreaking or if you're not familiar with it. Uh, so if you do want to subscribe up top, that will notify you when I release um, the tutorial. Uh, and any more updates to this jailbreak, anything like that, um, it's going to notify you when I release those videos. Uh, so you will receive all that by subscribing. Uh, if you'd also like to share this video to your friends and let them know about uh, the jailbreak and the update and all that, um, you can go ahead and hit that share button as well. Uh, and if you have any other questions or anything like that, um, or anything that you miss and just don't quite understand, go ahead and comment down below and I'll respond to you and help you out with uh, any confusion you might have. Uh, and lastly, you guys can follow me on Twitter, and my Twitter username is iTaker for week, same as my YouTube channel. Uh, and I'll just have more updates over there and talk about it. Uh, and also be able to answer questions over there. So there's all the information, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. And I'll catch you in the next one.